So the earlier we voice our displeasures, the better. If you don't want your government to be unpopular, almost fix the roads, almost fix the hospitals, almost give us better education, almost provide employment opportunities for the youth. Basic, this is basic, basic, basic things we are demanding from the government. How are you fighting the people? This is basic. You try to attack someone, you say, you say, you say, you say, you say, you you say, you say, you say, you for you say, you because the professor of government name, yeah, because you have not built hospitals. So you build hospitals. Then you, you, you yes, I have built the hospital. Where are you talking about? A month for nicely said by Sheldon, one of Ghana's, you know, most popular YouTubers talking in support of Fix the Country campaign. A month for. Now it is top challenge. The roads must be fixed. Broken ones must be fixed, new ones must be built, better health facilities, make the you know manage the economy so that Chale, the cost of living not gonna be so high. I'm on for made the government no think say you know made the government and you know elders and imams in the Edra community think say making donations you know will will cover up you know the demand for justice for you know the killing of uh, uh, Kaka Mohammed and as well as the killing of you know Abdul Nasser Yusuf and Mutala Mohammed who were also gunned down by the military in an unprofessional manner all these killers must be brought to justice and even the Ashanti Regional Minister, Simon Osei Mensa, the talk say is the one who deployed the military to go and, you know, disband a group of people who were demonstrating for justice. But did he order that they should shoot and kill them as well? A man for the president is answerable to this incident. But, Chale, Nana don't make quiet like Mumu. I'm not for what they have been for the country, Charlie. I am disappointed, you know, in how you know this government has turned the country. A group of demonstrators being shot and killed because they are demonstrating for justice. Ah, how can a person who is demonstrating for justice be shot and killed? So what do you think about this thing? You know, uh, if you look back, uh, I'm not be surprised because 2020 election as well, someone was shot down and killed, and nothing was done about it. Look at all these people who have been killed innocently in the country, and you know, up to today, no one has really been brought to justice like Ahmed Swali. Even putting that aside, you know. Look at Kaka Mohammed. Them kill him because, you know, it is talk about what's wrong, you know, in his community. That's why the youths went out there to protest in the first place. Because they don't trust the authorities to deal, you know, with the matter, you know, with, you know, true justice. Everyone has to be equal in the face of the law. Kaka Mohammed was killed innocently. You guys know that. Man for security is about protection of life and property. Even among other things. There are other things in as well, but you know, life and property. Now look at how the military just, you know, stormed into the, you know, the protesters and just started shooting. Kneeling down as if they are in an action movie. You know? Why? Your own countryman. Your own countryman, I'm on for. I'm on for your own countryman. You just go there to shoot and kill him because he's demonstrating for his human rights. A member of the community has been killed unlawfully. Nothing's being done about it, and Charlie, the military turned up, you know, and start shooting because, you know, 
uh, policemen were chased away earlier on. Man, for in my opinion, the military were highly unprofessional. They were highly unprofessional because even if you would send someone to disperse a mob or you know a group of people protesting or, or demonstrating or whatever, you know, it is more. You go with such aggression and force just to shoot and kill? I'm on for the ask school. And the beg, like, comment, you know. And you know, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. If you're going right, just pressing that in, you know. If I said you for Kwame Kuma would arise, Mali Moon, Patrice Lumuma, if all of our ancestors would arise, Africa, oh Africa, what about Africa with them and the encounter? What up of Africa would a man they encounter? Or say you for Dr. Kwame Kuma would arise, rise.